uh, Gary Strivers of Greensboro, North Carolina. On location, just a little west of Greensboro, uh, on this video, we're driving the um, Business 40, now known as Salem Parkway, um, through the uh, city of Winston-Salem. Um, right, right now, of course, we're uh, still, I think we're still in Guilford County. Um, but we're going to drive along Business 40, now known as Salem Parkway. Uh, drive all the way through on this particular road. Um, uh, there was a, a, we're on sort of the, this is the old, 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 old road. Probably going back to the 50s when we're on now. Um, this particular stretch. Um, but you'll see as we get into Winston-Salem where the actual new uh, construction has occurred. Of course, we just see a sign US 421 open through downtown. Um, if you if you follow this uh, 421, okay, now we're in Forsyth County, so there we go. Uh, this road, 421, if you follow this straight for another uh, 100, only about 100 miles or so, you'll be in the mountains. Uh, you'll be in Boone, which is sort of the uh, little gateway towns, the mountains there. Uh, and that's a little place called Beach Mountain. That's where the uh, now... Uh, disgraced cyclist Lance Armstrong had his began his uh, comeback from cancer. Um, of course, you know nothing, nothing to take away from uh, Mr. Armstrong for his beat cancer, but still he uh, he cheated, uh, you know, uh, seven times in the Tour de France, six times, six. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, but back back to road talk now. Um, I have never um, been on this stretch of highway before, um, except to go to Kernersville, which we're still um, we're still east of, so we haven't passed Kernersville yet. But eventually, it'll be a brand new experience for me. Um, as always, if you have any comments or questions about anything, I'll do my best to answer them um, for this video. Um, so yeah, we're just cruising right along. It is a Monday morning, uh, February 10th of 2020, um, and it is a cloudy day, but it's a perfect day to do videos like this. Um, some of my other videos, I, 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 I never do a video when it's like raining. Very, by the way, very good pizza place, Vito Pete's, I'll talk about that in a little while. But, um, you know, I never do a video on this rain, but a lot of my videos are out on a bright, sunny day, and sometimes the sun, you'll see the big yellow ball right in the center of my video, and it can get a little distracting sometimes. So this way, it's a cloudy day. I, I, I hope you can see everything nice, nice and fine um, in the videos. Uh, temperature, uh, it's fairly mild yet seasonal. It's probably in the lower 50s right now. Um, I'm, uh, you know, my, my body type, I'm, I'm a little on the heavy side, um, so I take cooler weather better than some other people, um, but I'm, I actually, um, I have the air vents open in my car right now, and I'm wearing a, uh, short sleeve button-down t-shirt, uh, so yeah. Gives you that it's 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 lower 50s seasonal for this time of year. Um, this is actually supposed to be the the best day this week weather-wise because like the rest of this week, like Tuesday through Friday, it's supposed to rain. Um, of course, we already got the clouds in, but yeah, the rain's going to come tomorrow or maybe even overnight tonight. Um, Ten miles from the sale now. Uh, Moxville, 36 miles ahead of us um, with that. Um, coming up here, uh, we're, we're coming up on the Winston-Salem uh, Beltway Project uh, coming up here, as you'll see in a moment. You just saw the sign that was um, uh, Black Bag Dover, I guess you call that. I 
I don't like what they've done with this pavement. It's like they got these little grooves right in the center of the lane. Or actually a little left of center of the lane, if you notice. It can be a little hard on the tires, you know. So. Speed limit on this is uh, 60 miles an hour, uh, which is a little low. But, uh, you know, at least it's not 50 or 55. Where's the sale Northern Beltway? This stretch right here you're looking at um, is supposed to be completed uh, the first from Business 40 to US 158. It should have been completed uh, back in December, but now it's saying sometime this spring. Um, really, the stretch of the Beltway that's going to be beneficial for me because I live in Greensboro. Um, is going to be open, I believe, in 2023, 2024. And now that'll get you from Business 40 out to US 52, which is the most direct northern route um, into uh, Virginia, West Virginia, Whitfield, Virginia, uh, and Blue Ridge Mountains and that sort of thing. Basically, the Beltway going north, uh, the northwest portion is, they're not supposed to start construction on that until at least 2025, and then the southwest part of the Once the Salem Beltway is currently um, unfunded in the state transportation plan uh, for that. So you'll see in just a moment we're coming up on a, a bus part and I believe that stands for Piedmont Area Rapid Transit which of course the rapid transit is uh, <laughs> a little bit of a misleading because this is a uh, you know Winston-Salem Greensboro is not a particularly uh, large metro it's more of a medium size and you know, in the, in the medium size under, you know, a bus might come every hour or something. So it's really not quote unquote rapid transit. They should probably, you know, maybe change the name to mass transit um, with that. So anyway, just, just, just wanted to let you know that I uh, decided to do this video today because I'm on my way to a uh, political lunch. Um, at the Golden Corral here in uh, Winston-Salem. It's actually now the only uh, the only Golden Corral in uh, Forsyth County, I believe. Um, man, I got some pedal pushers on this road, don't we? I mean, I'm doing like 75 trying to keep people off of me. It's like, you know, can't, you know, do that. But anyway, um... So we have a better slow down now. But uh, one thing I've noticed about drivers all over the um, up and down the East Coast is man, 50, like when it's 55, people will do 80. But when it's like 65, 70, they'll do like 72. <laughs> it's like, what's the deal? <laughs> so, of course, um, this is not the only East-West Expressway in Winston-Salem. Winston it is, um, there's also the main line I-40. It's just called I-40, but, um, or bypass I-40. It's called, just called I-40, but, you know. <laughs> um, that was built, completed back in 1992. So before 1992, this was the only east-west alignment of I-40 that we were on, that we're on. Uh, so fortunately they built that. Um, then they have the, you know, they'll have the Beltway um, coming up in the next few years. Uh, but when this, when this project was under construction um, back in, I think that's, yeah, when, when, when the Business 40 project was hit, um, yeah, that was closed over the last 
about a year and a half or so. Uh, traffic was really a mess in Winston-Salem because you had a city of uh, uh, close to you know, 250,000 and there was only one um, east-west, you know, quick way east-west to get across. So now it bumps down to 45 and of course nobody's doing even close to that. <laughs> Oh good, our first little skyscraper. It's like, man, a lot of traffic from Monday morning at 10 o'clock. Y'all need to go to work. I work in retail, so I, you know, I could say stuff like that. But, you know, most people, you would think, do the, do the 9 to 5 kind of thing. So coming up on US 52, that's a major north-south freeway. Of course, you see Mount Airy. That's up close to Virginia there. Um, and then, uh, you know, Lexington is, uh, of course, now we're slowing down a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> so, as soon as we pass 52 up here, we're going to be on the, the, um, the newly um, renovated segment here of um, Business 40, a.k.a. Salem Parkway. So... And this project costs just about a hundred, a hundred million dollars. Okay, brand, brand new pavement, uh, newly constructed bridges. Um, they did not widen the freeway. They made the uh, exit ramps a little, a little bit shorter. Um, you know, so and some and there, there's, there's was a lot of talk on Facebook about. Um, why didn't they widen the road to at least three lanes on each side and um, well two reasons one the easy answer is you're gonna have the beltway opening up in a few years um, the harder answer is well it'd be a harder project to do um, you would have to buy right away because there's some buildings that are very close to this road and it will take longer to construct Okay, bb and ballpark there. Um, cool stuff. Where the dash play. Why Why is it called the dash? Well, because look, think about the name Winston-Salem. There's a dash right in, um, in between Winston-Salem. So there you go. It makes sense, right? Um, you know, how many sports teams don't have names that <laughs> resemble what they're about, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, slow down, slow down, speed up, speed up, slow down. I mean, this is this is 10 o'clock in the morning, folks. My goodness. I hate to see this road during, like, rush hour, you know? Yeah, they probably should have widened it. I don't know why they didn't, but oh well. <laughs> well, I told you why, that's why. Man. I mean, you got a lot of trucks on this route, people, traffic stacking up, you know. It's like crazy. Plus, you got cars merging in constantly. It's like, you know, what are we going to do? <laughs> uh. And I believe that was the end of the, uh, the project area there. Um, so now we're just on the the old the old business 40 down there in a single parkway alignment. So you know. Um, I told you, okay, now it's 55. Yay. Um, have a political lunch to go to at the Golden Crowd. Wait, oh, cool. Krispy Kreme office built. There you go. Their head, yeah, that's our corporate headquarters, I believe. Um, yeah, it's only about 10.07. I'm going to be going to Haynes Mall for a little while, checking that area out. Okay, two miles to I-40, so we're, um, you know, we're almost at the end of our journey. I hope you've enjoyed this drive. It's, uh, for 10 o'clock in the morning, it's, um, been, been, been a bit, um, 
extremely busy with traffic, I would say. Um, so, just past time for Wake Forest University. Traffic slowed down. one straight Yadkinville Wilt Wilkesboro Boone <laughs> So we're just getting ready to curve around the way we came. Go but go a little south and then back um, west towards Greensboro. Uh, but stop at Haynes Mall. I think I know where I'm going. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see with that. Uh, let's see. It tells you exit quarter of a mile, but what lane do you want me? It told me left or right. I think, okay, I just saw the sign. So they want me, um, there we go. Okay, that's better. Your lane's getting right in, bud. Pay attention. There we go. here and uh, traffic's uh, a lot lighter than the business for you, which it generally should be, but you know, definitely taking a good amount of traffic off of the, off of the main line for you. So, now we're just looking for Haynes Mall Boulevard. If y'all seen it, let me know. <laughs>
bottle of parsley chipped. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're too far west for the mall. I'm gonna have to. Uh, back the other way which stinks waste gas Ugh. of course I filled up on sat a couple days ago for 206 a gallon in Greensboro and no I um believe it or not I uh it wasn't Costco or Sam's Club it was an Exxon station uh on Groomtown Road, uh, just south of uh, Gate City Boulevard. And uh, the interesting thing was there was a gas station that was uh, <coughs> um, that was just like a mile from that. <laughs> and they were charging 237. I'm like 31 cents difference. You're a mile from that competitor. What are you doing? It's like these gas station owners don't understand simple economics, you know? If you price your gas low, or lower in the marketplace, then you will, um, people will want to, you know, probably spend some more money on, you know, snacks and drinks and stuff. Um, man, can you say, like, old interstate? <laughs> Traffic just pouring right in, isn't it? Anyway. Business 40 Salem Parkway is um, 45, so hopefully they're going to raise that to 55. What will happen is that uh, NCDOT is going to do a um, speed study, but they're not going to do the speed study until um, summer uh, because there's still a little like landscape and improvements. And what is that? okay? I was, what are you doing? <laughs> what is this guy doing? Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? What are you doing? You know, you're not, you're driving on the shoulder, you're not signaling. It's like, what is going on? Nah. Shit, really? God sakes. That is so fucking dangerous, part of my language. Use your blinker at least. Have a little sense, you know? Here we go, back round two. <laughs> oh, jeez. I 
didn't realize that um, Business 40 Salem Parkway ended. I didn't realize Business 40 ended before all the business was done for Winston-Salem, you know, including the mall area. It's like, my goodness gracious, you know. Crazy, right? <sighs> you got all this, uh, Second go around 45 might be appropriate for this stretch because I'm doing like 50, doing like 55, and I'm really uh, having to buckle down through some of these curves. So you raise the 55, you know, five, ten over rule. People doing six to five at least. You know, you might uh, might have some problems there with the curves. So. Well, I'll get a truck up ahead, just cutting that driver off, no point, reckless. <coughs> I still can't believe that Honda, that, um, that Honda minivan we saw, you know. Just driving on the shoulder, you know, no blinker or any, any signal to get over, and then they just get over regardless. Where in the world is Haynes Ball, man? Jeez. Crazy, man. Crazy. Now it's 55. Yay! Ooh, 55. Excuse me, gotta go west this time. Not east. Like man, it's kinda getting dark outside, so anyway. Oh, the rain's coming early. It's like oh no. Because Haynes Mall is such a big deal in this area, there would be more signs for Winston Mall, but there's not one on this road. Hard, hard to believe, you know. Crazy. Anyhow. <clears throat>
yeah, the um, windshield you have your headlights on in this kind of weather, it, it's, it's, you know, if you see it really clouding up like this, then I would put them on now. Um, yeah, unfortunately, a lot of people don't even put them on until it's like really raining. Uh, roof, roof, meow, you know, cats and dogs. <laughs> that was pretty pathetic, but. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Okay, hopefully. So, anyway. I don't know how this... Can't find Haynes Ball. Can't find Haynes Ball. Dad and I used to ride bikes. We used to uh, cycle across Maryland and bike Virginia for a number of years. <clears throat> and I'm thinking the mall is still back that way, but it's not marked. Crazy. <coughs> Shit. You know? <laughs> Man. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, because Louisville, Clemens, we're definitely west now. Okay, where is the mall? Goodness gracious. I guess next exit we'll have to take that and figure, figure something out. You know? uh, but on those bike rides, we used to say car back or car up if we were on a really narrow road kind of thing. gas just driving around. Why? Damn. Yeah, Clemens. Yep, definitely west of where we need to be. <laughs> Darn it. Like you shouldn't, you know, slow down until you get off the interstate, okay, guys? Well, it looks like everything's pointing over that way. I'm probably gonna have to, like, you know, that sinks. <sighs> There's a sign for Patrick McGinry, U.S. Congress. So he's going to represent the new 5th district instead of his old uh, stomping ground, the 10th district. He will leave that in. Anyway. Probably just have to wait for the arrow. It's pretty, pretty congested. <clears throat> I think, I'm not 100% sure, but they might have filmed a driving scene of Unsolved Mysteries around here. Because I've been looking around Winston-Salem and it's like, you know, can't seem to find it. And then I looked at sort of like the road alignment and everything and, um, you know. 
but a lot has changed because there used to be a big Ramada Inn around here and a Hardee's and, and, and it's just been God sakes man jeez <sighs> yeah <clears throat> I think it's off of 158, I believe. I'm not positive, but hopefully it is. That doesn't work. I'm gonna have to like actually like, you know, put all the darn GPS on the cell phone to be that way, so. There's uh, newly wide and then new to new, excuse me, newly wide and the new, newly uh, repaved, well, section of I-40. Completed like the last year, I think. But I'll tell you, they really need to widen I-40 from um, the Guilford Forsyth County line. Oh, nice blinker, by the way. You got somebody bearing down and you just get in the other lane, no blinker. I mean, really. You know? <laughs> uh, how stupid can you be? Anyway, as I was saying before I was interrupted, uh, they really need to widen I-40 from uh, the Guilford Forsyth County line until uh, Winston City, the city limits. Winston Sam, there's only two lanes in each direction. That uh, That's a hot spot during uh, rush hour, you know, congestion. Um, it is in the state, the STIP, the State Transportation Improvement Plan, uh, I think right now, 2023, 2025, somewhere in there, supposed to be. Uh, so it is on the drawing board, which is good. Okay, Golden Corral. I know that's where I need to be, and I know the Golden Corral's right next to the Haynes Mall. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Good, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. So. <clears throat> okay. I don't know why I didn't I don't know. I don't think we saw that sign earlier. Maybe we did. I don't know. Anyway, so. Uh, excuse me. So I got to go over to the left. I know that much. Let's see. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
There we go, there we go. I don't know if you can see it, but that uh, car in the middle of the intersection, that's a big, that's a big no-no. You know, when you have traffic that's that busy coming right at you, and you know you're going to get a green arrow, don't do that, you know. Unless you see a gap where you can make a left turn, never go to the middle of the intersection to make the turn. Because now you're going to run. See that? They ran the red light. That's dangerous. You know? Now there's another guy. I'm not going to mention any names. But he has a YouTube channel. And he says that's legal. Perfectly legal. But no. I'm sorry. You know. I, My driver's ed teacher never told me that. My parents, who are good drivers, I'd like to thank. Uh, more so my mom than my dad. <laughs> but no. Neither one of them ever uh, permitted that behavior. Just don't do it. <clears throat> Finally. Come on. Go, 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 go. Chili's. What's that song? Chili's Baby Back Ribs. Yay, Haynes Mall. Woohoo! And Golden Corral. Ding, ding, ding. All right, so. I really don't, man. It's like weird. Very odd. Okay, so. Eh. Oh, good. Let's park over here. Hello. I think I'm in the wrong. Might be. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Where the hell is the parking spaces? The place is, like, too busy, man. Y'all need to go to work, you know? Jeez. <sighs> I'm just, like... Yeah, this is a weird parking lot. Very odd. Very, very odd. That's... Hey man, they really need to look, 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 look at how faded the uh, parking spot markings are. That's crazy. I mean, this is a thriving mall, not a dead mall at all. And, okay, I'll stop. I'll shut up now. <laughs> uh.